Just this past week, a Saudi prince unexpectedly blasted Israel during a security conference in Bahrain in a session ironically titled New Security Partnerships in the Middle East. They profess that they want to be friends with Saudi Arabia. And yet, all Israeli governments are the last of the Western colonizing powers of the Middle East. From the time of the Balfour Declaration, they have forcibly evicted the inhabitants of Palestine after the 1948 war. Israeli Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi spoke by video after the prince. I would like to express my regret on the comments of the Saudi representative, the foreign minister. I don't believe that uh, they reflect the spirit and the changes uh, taking place in the Middle East. The real question then is, does that say that the whole kingdom of Saudi Arabia has an attitude problem, or does it say that this guy has an attitude problem? Former Israeli UN Ambassador Dory Gold also attended that conference, witnessing the prince's accusations. I think he was being used by the highest authorities in Saudi Arabia to put some distance between us and them. Gold tells CBN News the attitude toward Israelis appeared very warm, except for the prince. Gold believes Saudi Arabia could still come around, mainly because they have a common enemy. I think it's the Iranian factor which gave birth to the Israeli-Arab peace process as we know it today. Danny Danone, another former UN ambassador, tells CBN News he believes the Saudis will eventually join the Abraham Accords. They are the most important one for the region, for Israel, and they understand that once they will normalize the relation with Israel, we will see much more stability in the region. And it will be a, a major force to block the hostility coming from Iran. Gold points to Washington as being the major part of this puzzle. And what happens next? If they hear from Washington, we like the Abraham Accords, we want more treaties between Israel and its neighbors, great. Gold says while the Trump administration has improved the connection between Saudi Arabia and Israel, which led to opening its airspace to Israeli planes, it could all change if a Biden administration were to take a different approach. If, on the other hand, they uh, don't acknowledge that, they say, no, you want to improve the Middle East's environment, you know, give the Palestinians more money and make the Palestinians the center of everything, that will not move us very far along.